Spoiler alert, tonight I got freaking torched. Uh, it sucked! And you might be wondering, why are you using an, a random Scottish accent? And it's as a defense mechanism, I use accents to hide my freaking pain. Tonight was bad. But, you know, you want to see the ups, you want to see the downs. Well, here's the freaking downs, so welcome to the vlog. Hit that intro. Cheers. With the guy Branson, who has the Branson poker logs. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. Tell him he's got a lot of class, and it's all low. All right, we're playing five, five, ten. I'm in for five hundred for the first bomb pot, and I pick up pocket kings in early position. Flop comes out three, three, four rainbow. So on one hand, pocket kings are great, but on the other hand, it is a bomb pot, and any one of these guys could have a three. Still, I start off with a bet of $75, the hijack calls, and then the under the gun raises to 300 So, <laughs> it really sucks. I have two options here. Either I commit my stack and hope that my kings are good, or I just fold. And honestly, I think there's a high chance that at least one of these guys has a three, so I just fold. Hijack folds too, and I think it was the right move. I don't know. I top up to $800 and get ace eight of diamonds in the big blind. The hijack, who very quickly has established himself as a loose, loose player, raises to $30. The small blind calls and it's on me. So my thought process is, this guy's loose, he's opening most hands, so he probably won't be able to stand up to pressure. Plus, the small blind's flat call looks like dead money to me. Plus, plus, I have a suited ace, all right, it's good enough for me to raise. I three bet to $150. Well, you know everything I just said? It's, it's dead wrong. The hijack is not afraid of pressure. He's apparently like the mayor of pressure town. He's all in for $1.4,000. The small blind dead money? Yeah, he's all in too for his 240 bucks. So I'm wrong on both fronts. Uh, I fold of course. Board runs out six, seven, eight, deuce four. The hijack shows ace nine. He four bet shoved with ace nine. Uh, the small blind wins with nine, 10 suited. And all right, let's play some poker. Next up, ace 10 in the cutoff. The low jack opens to $30. And I honestly thought about all three options. Folding, I think is fine. Calling, three betting sometimes. This time I just flat called, which is not something I like to do that often, but I'm in position at least. Small blind and big blind call as well, and we're four ways to a flop of a 6 3 two clubs. Action checks to the low jack, who continues betting for $65. As the preflop aggressor, he could definitely have some strong aces, but I'm in position. I can't fold top pair yet. I make the call. The small blind calls as well, so now three ways to the turn, which comes a five. Small blind checks, and this time the low jack checks. It's on me. I think the low jack would have likely kept betting with a stronger hand than mine. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to bet. I bet $150 charging any draws or weaker aces. The small blind calls. The low jack folds. I'll probably be looking to check back on this river. But the river comes a deuce. Now any four makes a straight and the small blind jams for $650. Ah, uh, so the small blind could have ace four, four, five, maybe jamming with ace deuce for a river two pair. It sucks. <laughs> I don't know. I don't often see people leading the river as a bluff. So I think it's just a fold. I throw it away and it's a good thing I did. I overheard him telling his neighbor he had three, four and river to straight. Bad news is I'm down 500 bucks, but my table broke. Maybe I'll have better luck at this new table. Of course, you saw the title of this video before you clicked on it. So maybe not, or maybe <laughs> it was all a ruse. <laughs> I pick up seven, eight of hearts in the small blind action folds all the way to me and I open to $35. Only the straddle calls heads up to a flop of Jack deuce three rainbow. I have eight high, but it's a dry board. I see bet $25, hopefully a fold, but no, the straddle calls turn comes an interesting one. The five of hearts. Now I have a flush draw. Now I feel like I can keep the pressure on. I could easily have a strong Jack and over pair. I bet $80, hopefully he folds, but if he calls, I can still hit my flush on the river. But he raises. 
All right, it's a small raise, $210, which honestly feels like he's just juicing me for more money with a really strong hand, but let's do some math. It's 130 more to call for a pot that will be $545. This means I need to win roughly 24% of the time for a profitable call. I know I'll hit my flush roughly 20% of the time, so if he was all in now, it's not good enough. But he's not all in now. If we hit our flush, there's a good chance we can get more money out of him. All right, let's hit that flush. River offsuit queen. Uh, uh, I check, he goes all in, I fold. Not gonna lie, I'm getting a little tired of losing here. I pick up king queen of hearts in the hijack. The low jack raises to $30. Here's a spot I know like the back of my hand. I three bet to $90. The straddle cold calls the 90, which throws me off a bit. The low jack calls two. And we're three ways to a flop of five, seven, nine. Both my opponents check. I can't see bet this. This is terrible for my range and my opponents could easily have sets or over pairs. I check, the turn is a four, no help. Low jack bets $150 and we both fold. Then I get king queen again, this time on the button. The cutoff limps, I raise to $45 and only the cutoff calls. Heads up to a flop of 910 jack. What? Yes, we have the straight. This is what I'm talking about. Finally, time to win a hand. After my opponent checks, I start off with a C bet of $40 and he calls. Turn is the three of diamonds, putting a second flush draw on the board, and my opponent checks again. And now, it is time to up the pressure. There's plenty of hands that could call a chunky bet. Draws, two pairs, pair plus draws. So I size up to $125. My opponent jams all in for $645. He probably has two pair or something. I snap call. The river is a jack. Oh, no. But he shows 9-10 and we're good. Let's go. Come on, momentum, momentum. I pick up queen ten of spades in the hijack. The low jack opens to $35. I flat call. Again, I don't love flat calling. I'd rather three bet, but the session's been rough. I just want to see a flop, the button, and straddle call two. And we're four ways to a flop of king, queen, ten. All right, two pair. Straddle checks, low jack checks. I cannot check. I gotta bet. Of course, it is a dicey board to have bottom two pair. Any of my opponents could have a better hand. King, queen, king, 10, ace, jack, jack, nine, all big possibilities. The low jack can still have a few sets, so I gotta proceed with caution. Still, I have to bet now because there are so many bad turns in rivers. I bet $75, about half pot. The button folds, but the straddle calls, and then the low jack raises to $275, and I am hating life. So here's the problem. I'm crushed by a ton of better two pairs, sets, straights, and even the bluffs I'm not doing super well against. Most every flush draw he has in his range also has a straight draw, so I'm not doing so well against those hands. If he's turning king jack or queen jack into a bluff, I'm only about 50-50 against those hands. Not to mention, I have the straddle behind me who could be slow playing a big hand as well. It sucks so bad to fold two pair, but like, when you're hoping he has a bluff that you still only have a 50% chance of winning against, you just, ah, uh, you just gotta get out of there. You just, ah, uh, I fold. The straddle folds too. And later the low jack told me he had pocket jacks. I don't know. I mean, even that hand has a 35% chance of winning. So it's just like, a sucky spot in general. Moving on, I get ace king in the cutoff. The hijack opens to $35. Same opponent I've been fighting the last three hands definitely got a three bet. I make it $105 and only he calls. The flop comes ace, 10, deuce, rainbow. Very nice, always feels good to flop the ace. After he checks, I start off with a C bet of $65 and he makes the call. Turn is a queen. He checks, and I just have this bad feeling. If the turn was a low card, I would definitely keep betting, but this queen is not good. Not only do I lose to ace queen, queen 10, king jack, but I don't think I'm getting paid now by many worse hands if I bet the turn and the river. I decide to check back and evaluate the river, which comes a nine, not really changing anything. I'm ready to put out a value bet if he checks, but he leads out for $200, and I don't like it. 
I feel like he has ace queen. I feel like I'm beat. Does he have any bluffs here? Like, does he turn king queen or queen jack into a bluff? Because in my mind, the only value hand I beat is ace jack. And that's if he's value betting ace jack. So it's crazy, but I really want to fold. But at the same time, I have ace king. I flopped an ace. All right. I let out a disgusted grunt and I call and he has ace queen, of course, and I lose. All right, spirits are low. I mean, I've won one hand and it sucks, but carry on soldier. I pick up King Jack off in the small blind, the hijack limps and the button, same player I keep battling raises to $50. Now he's a good player raising over a limper on the button. He could have a wide range. I'm gonna go spicy. I three bet to $200, putting his hand to the test. I just wanna fold, but he says, All right, let's go again, bro. Okay, I didn't want to go again, actually. I just wanted you to fold, but here we are. The flop is ace nine three rainbow. Should be good for me. I should have a lot of strong aces. I go for the C bet of $130. Okay, now fold, but he calls. Okay, turn is another three. I should give up. Chalk my losses. But you saw the title of this video, right? You know it's coming, right? Or do you? <laughs> The hard part of the session that I'm showing It's the biggest loss I've ever shown before I know you may think I'm not trying But believe me this one hurt me to my core So hold your breath Because tonight will be the night that I will lose for you Recap, I have nothing. I should give up. However, I'm tired of losing. And the last thing I want to lose to is some pocket pair that was too stubborn to fold on the flop. One more try. I bet $275, trying to make it look like I have ace king and I'm juicing for all the money. But he calls, river's a four, now I give up. And he goes all in, I fold, and he had aces. So, uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? All right, I'm down almost $1,800. I've lost nearly every hand I've played. My blood is boiling. I feel hot in the face. I usually do a good job with tilt management, but at this point, I'm internally fuming. I'm mad at myself. I'm mad at the runouts. I really should call it quits for the day. Like seriously, one of the biggest tips I could give is to avoid playing on tilt. You're not gonna be playing your A game, and there's a large chance you're sending your chips to oblivion. That's a huge reason I only bring two and a half to three buy-ins when I play. Once you're down that much, you likely won't be playing your best. So here we are, my last 350 bucks with seven, eight of spades on the button. I open to $35 and the big blind three bets me to $90. Actions back on me. I'm super annoyed I got three bet, but it is such a small three bet. I have position, I have blood in my eyes. I make the call and we're off to a flop of Jack Queen eight. The big blind C bets $110 and I pretty much had the idea in my head that if I flopped at least a pair, I would most likely commit. So I go all in for $245. I have a backdoor flush draw. I'm ahead of ace king. I have outs against single pair holdings. Well, he calls. The turn is a four river ace. I show my cards and he shows pocket aces. Great. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am out. Yo, that freaking blows. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy cow. Yeah, not much worked out for me tonight, which I guess is how it happens. And I don't know, man. That was rough. That was. <laughs> it just felt like I was just getting beat up the whole night. Minus, I did flop a uh, straight when someone flopped two pairs. So that was really good. <sighs> yeah, other than that, wrecked. <laughs> I was in for. 2100 out for four dollars loss of 2096 not fun <laughs> but uh it's life it's poker it happens you move on please help me out subscribe i'm, I'm hurting thanks i'll see you on the next one